Today we're talking to St Albans City manager Ian Allenson down on the south coast where the Saints have gained their first away draw of the National League South season. One all with Whitehall, Ian. I was in the gantry right above the dugouts and you didn't sound like you're enjoying that game too much. No, I don't think we started, David. I think, um, as I said, I don't think we paid enough attention to the opposition today. Uh, I said to the players before the game that, you know, ignore the league table. Because I know what people like Steve King will do to any side. He'll transform that overnight. And you've just seen, we looked at the team sheet today compared to the team he had last week. I think there's seven or eight changes on that. So we knew it was going to be very, very tough. He's gone and injected pace into the side. But I think some of our players didn't adhere to what we were trying to tell him before the game. And uh, before we knew where we was, we were 1-0 down. Uh, we got very fortunate to get back in the game. Yeah, we pressed the game second half and had a lot more possession. But the end, end product was we didn't work hard enough today again. And we didn't get enough crosses into the box. We didn't get enough finishes in the box. I think we only probably had one, one shot on target the whole game, which was disappointing for the amount of possession we had in the second half. You mentioned a delivery into the box, but just going forward generally, particularly in the first half, I felt, we were doing long balls forward and we had pretty much Charlie Walker up there on his own and the balls weren't even going close to him. No, and I think you're right there, but I think that you know, the slope does play a bit of a, uh, a part to what happens here and we ended up getting very, very deep in the first half and we did isolate Charlie and once we shortened it up and managed to get Kieran on the ball and the two midfield players on the ball, we managed to actually get in touch with Charlie and we, so we created one or two half chances. And, we said there before, we've got to try and squeeze up if we can. I so I think the slope plays quite a big part here in terms of the performances and certainly showed in the second half. We played more on the halfway line and dictated to play more in the second half. But I just felt there, was a, there wasn't a sharpness about us today. And that's two games on the trot now. I mean, obviously, Monday night at Cambridge City, we had a response. But last Saturday after half-time and again today, there's not a sharpness. There's a little bit of tiredness maybe in the legs. And I don't want to use that as an excuse, but... We just didn't look like we could get away from people. It took too long to put the ball under control. We wanted too many touches. And when we moved the ball quick, we managed to get in behind them. And when we brought Reese Morel on and Sam Merson on, we had a bit more of a reaction and, and could have nicked it in the end. We had a couple of half chances, but they did also on the on the counter-attack. We just left ourselves a little bit exposed, pushing our full-backs in and just got a little bit frustrated in the whole performance today. We went a goal down and the way we conceded it, it was most bizarre. Guy allowed to run straight through the middle. His shot was saved. Somebody else got the rebound. We just seemed to switch off or we weren't watching the man with the ball. I think we actually tried to play offside. So I think that we thought that we was going to play the ball through for the runner and everyone just sort of stood and he took it himself. And before we know where he, where he was, he was through on goal, which was... Um, it's poor defending, as we said before. You know, the two centre-halves have been isolated. Um, the, the, the ten who run with the ball, we didn't pick him up. Three midfield players had gone all into the box when we was attacking. I think, yeah, if you look on, on the highlights, we were actually in their 18-yard box when we gave the ball away. But all our midfield players went attacking the box, were screaming at somebody just to sit and hold. Um, we didn't do that. Their ten picked it up and ran at us, and then they thought he was going to release it through to the nine. And he just run it for himself. I mean, Dean's done great. He stood nice and big, made a good save, to be fair. It was a bit unfortunate. It fell straight to the fella's feet and, uh, and he rifled it home. But poor goal from our point. Two fullbacks had gone missing. They'd gone pushing in as well and uh, just left ourselves totally exposed to the counter attack. Mind you, our goal was a poor goal from their point of view. Kieran won Lewis, first of the season. Undoubtedly, it was a cross, but a uh, great big tall keeper. It looped over him and under the crossbar. I mean, obviously, from our point of view, it was very, it was, it was satisfying because obviously it's brought us back into the game. But it's like you say, I think it was a cross. Um, it obviously just kept going and going and going. And you said it before. I think their keeper six foot ten, and you wouldn't think it would go over his head. But fortunate enough, it did. But I thought that would be the, I thought that would kickstart the, the game for us today. And, I have to say, you know, it's lovely down here, the sun's out, it's probably about 20 degrees um, and it felt like a pre-season game there and no matter how animated we got on the sidelines, how much we tried to push and squeeze people and try and get them to deliver. Listen, even if you don't work hard, your delivery can be good, but our delivery wasn't good today and I have to say it's probably one of our worst performances of the season. That point keeps us in the top three, but we're now two points adrift of top place. But uh, you didn't want to sell for that point. You made three substitutions, each of them attacking ones. Well, I wanted to win the game, David. As I said, I felt you know they got tired second half, which is understandable. And it's probably a really good time for us to play them because yes, Steve has brought five or six new players in, but you know from that side of it, it's going to take them time to get adjusted to the system and the players they've got playing for them. Plus, they're going to they're going to make sure that you know, the team's just going to get organised in terms of the uh, match finish, which they're probably just that. a little bit behind on. Everybody, so you know it was a great time. You know, no excuses from our side. You know, our match fitness should be to a level now that we can go and play 90 minutes. And uh, I didn't think we, we got to that level today. Our, our match fitness didn't look good. As I said, to you, I felt my wide players didn't didn't yeah. do the job well enough. Um, and, and their seven and their 11 caused us some, some problems in terms of their attacking ability. 
and certainly the 10 sitting in the hole causes some problems. So things we've got to go and work on, as you said there, you know, I think it's 11 games now and we're sitting third, two points off the top. So if somebody had gave us that, then we'd have snapped the hands off. But, you know, we should be sitting top tonight for me um, and, and gaining three points here today. You've talked about the young side before, maybe not quite adapting themselves to every game as they should. This is something they can learn from today. They have to, because, you know, I felt last Saturday, and I said it, you know, during the game on Saturday, that I felt we switched off. Today, I don't think we even started, and it, it's until you play a game of football, you're not you're not sure what players' moods are in and everything. The warm-up looked good. We spoke about that just now. The warm-up looked sharp. We looked good. You know, obviously, yeah, we've had a three-hour journey down here, but we got the players off at, at his cottage and had a walk around. So there's no excuse from that side of it. But yeah, it was nice and warm. And as we said, you know, the last time we had a performance like this was a brain three away. So perhaps we need the sun to go in now for the next eight months and the rain to come and heavy clouds and we might perform better every week but as I said there you know we have got young players and yeah they're going to have inconsistencies and I feel the three substitutions we made livened us up a little bit but you know we've got to have players that perform to a high level we need players to perform to seven and eight every single ten and we can't afford to have four or five players today that didn't really get to that level and, and we looked tired and just just generally just didn't look sharp enough in the game today and you know I have to look at myself in terms of we played Monday night we trained Thursday night um, you know what what do we have to do to to try and make sure these players it might just be mentally in their heads that they didn't really fancy it a bit today maybe they you know they didn't move the ball and make things happen quick enough but you know we're getting set pieces late on there and the delivery on our set pieces were poor we knocked two or three balls straight into the goalkeeper's hands and if we put a decent ball in there's a chance we might get a flick on and we know what Sam Mercer's like in the air you know we've got a decent ball and he might go and score a goal for us at the moment he's not getting any quality to go and try and get a header in there and uh, unfortunately we just didn't have enough quality about us to break them down today. If we don't get our attitude right on Tuesday, we're going to go home pointless. Away to East Front United, they, like ourselves, have made a great start to the season. Yeah, they've been good. I mean, I think somebody just said they got beat today, so that's their unbeaten record gone. So, but then they, you know, there'll be a bounce back from them today. So, you know, we know we've got to go there. I've watched them a couple of times this season. Been really impressed with them. They, they've got good shape about them, and they look organised. And, and, and people like Sam Higgins, he's going to he scores goals from nowhere. So, again being a Tuesday night and maybe a little bit of drizzle on the pitch and a little bit of dew on the pitch it might just help us a little bit but we have to obviously take stock of the performances today take stock of the of the people that haven't performed well and obviously we've got three or four subs on there that haven't played so again we've got a squad I think that's going to be um, I think we worked it out the other day I think it's our sort of seventh or eighth game um, in, in the last um, three weeks so we've got to take stock of it maybe just you know we played too many too quickly you know, going back to the Eastbourne game, and then I think we had Haven, and then we had Cambridge City twice. Back today, we got Tuesday, and we got next Saturday. So, just have a look at it. We've got a good enough squad, as I've said to you earlier. You know, no matter what team we put out, we should be good enough to uh, to pull them to a good level every week. And for me, we dropped our standards today. Lovely. Thanks very much, Ian. And there we go again on Tuesday. So on Thank Tuesday, you. away to East Farrett United, kick off at Rookery Lane, National League South. Is that 7:45?